Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports, and this is not another edition of what is in our stand today. Today we're going to talk about 7 Mesh. There's a previous video I made, and it was an unboxing video of a few of their items. And um, it's Saturday morning, it's about uh, 7.27 to be exact and I'm getting ready to get out on a hundred mile ride hopefully with about 10,000 feet of climbing and one of the things that I'm very excited about is that 7 Mesh sent me their new MK3 bib short and um, oh before I go any further just a quick shout out to one of my sponsors uh, M Drive and uh, I thank them very much for their support over the last four or five years. I think it's been at least five years. Anyway, let's get back to 7Mesh. In the previous video, I mentioned that 7Mesh is a company out of uh, British Columbia. And they have a lot of outdoor apparel experience within their ranks. Uh, a lot of their uh, senior management and some of their designers have come from that area. But today, it's uh, low 50s, and it's, it promises to be about 75 for a high. That's Fahrenheit. And so what I want to do today is I want to wear um, some of their more summer-like clothing because they, they do have a vast experience in their uh, winter clothing and uh, rainy type uh, clothing, rainy weather type clothing. So this is their Highline jersey and I highlighted this in a previous video and uh, laser cut, uh, it, this thing is just, it is just manufactured very, very well. And let me turn that over so you can see their logo. And as I mentioned also in a, in a previous video is how subdued their logos are. So that's all you have on the front panel and then something on the back here, just in the center of your back, and then the pockets have some reflective piping. So this is a very subdued, uh, just black. There's not a lot of patterns on it, and that's very nice. But let's get to the star of the show, and that is the MK3 seven mesh bib now this is a new model and uh, one of the things I really liked about the MK2 which I've already worn out and I haven't had a chance to do a review apologize for that is um, their straps and uh, their front panel here uh, just above the waist is a very nice panel for you know going to the bathroom while you are fully dressed. And I made a point in my other video that if you're a male cyclist, please wear bibs. They're just so much more comfortable. They're much more compressive, um, starting down at the thigh, coming up through the hip, hip flexors, the glutes, and the front panel. It keeps you nice and um, slim and then you don't have your know, rider's crack showing out the back if your jersey were to creep up so that's just that's just a thing and they're just so much more comfortable once you put a bib on it stays in place and no matter how much you fidget and move around in the saddle the bib stays in place but even more importantly the way seven mesh designs their bib You'll see here, this is, it'll be hard to do this on video by myself, but this is the front panel, this is the back, and if I slip my hand through here, what they've done is they've separated the chamois on a different panel. So, here's the chamois, but my hand is actually still inside the short, and 
it basically, if you can think about wearing a sock on your foot and the way the sock is encasing your foot and then your foot is sliding inside the shoe, well, the friction now has been transferred from the sock to the shoe as opposed to your actual, the skin on your foot. And so that's the same concept here. This chamois, which, you know, one of the things I really like about the way they do things, this is, I hope you can see that, but it's seam, the seams, there's no seams or stitching, I should say. And that's really, really nice. The craftsmanship is just outstanding, the quality. And um, so, as I was saying before, your chamois is now going to conform to your body and between you and the saddle, basically that chamois is one unit with you and then the short is allowed to slide back and forth. So the friction has been transferred now to the, underneath the chamois to the outer layer. And then even again, another, the outer layer of your sham of your short is now sliding back and forth on the saddle. One of the things I, I mentioned in a previous video is the three contact points that are very, very important for you to address with whether it be more money or at least a lot more attention to detail. So I mentioned that your, your cleats, your shoes, your pedals, uh, your insoles, your sock choice, and uh, of course your shoe choice, handlebar, um, I prefer to not wear gloves, but some people do. Just please minimize the padding so that you're not uh, trying to compensate for a poor bike fit. And then your chamois, your saddle choice, and then where it's positioned, the tilt of the saddle and uh, those kinds of things. So a high quality bib short is essential. It is the businessman's white dress shirt or the blue power suit. But uh, you must have a nice high quality bib short. So today, before uh, it gets too late, I want to get out and do a first ride on the Highline jersey which is a very thin jersey and the MK3 bib short. So this is a very exciting day for me. And yes, these little things do make me happy. High quality clothing, product reviews, and, and having the opportunity to test things for you and, and for myself, right? Because if this product works out. Now I've I've used the MK2 by the way. I've already used the MK2 on a few longer rides and then actually uh, I forget the date but it's probably been about three weeks ago I did a um, actually I've done two double centuries so 200 mile rides with the MK2 short. Uh, the first one I had a little bit of chafing and it's because I spent a lot of time in the aero bars and the position and, and bumps and things like that uh, cause a little bit of, um, y you move around a little bit differently on the saddle and there's a different pressure points when you're riding in the aero position with aero bars. Um, so I've done two double centuries with the MK2 and this will be the first uh, long ride with the MK3. Um, and I, I can't stop actually touching this um, this seam. It is just, it just ends. Like it's just a very, very well-made material. And the leg gripper just feels really, really nice and comfortable. So we are getting ready to go out for a ride. I thank you so much for tuning in. We love to do these product reviews for you um, behind us. Um, or behind me <laughs> is a stands no tube wheel set that I also will do a product review for you but in the meantime get out ride your bike enjoy the day and we'll see you on the road